What's more warrior-like than hand-to-hand -hand combat? Well, I guess for me, it was since I was younger, uh, I was an immigrant from Venezuela, so when I came to this country at 14, I was kind of bullied a lot, so I had to either learn a fight to defend myself or just get, you know, crammed down by everybody, so it was kind of like my only choice. Yeah, and then it turned into something very, uh, very passionate about. A lot of times what people, I think what people tend to overlook is sometimes they tend to rely a lot on your weapons. And of course you need to rely on that's always the number one thing. But there's times where we can't use our weapons and we need a grapple, try to hold this person down. And I feel like knowing the proper techniques to do that, to not only not hurt yourself, but then not hurt the other opponent or kill the other opponent. When I was younger, I was very tense, very scared, because you know, you're, you're fighting another opponent. So it's very, it's a scary experience, you know, especially going into a fist-to-fist -fist fight or anything like that. So after a while, when you train it and you do it enough times, you realize that the calmer you are, the more effective you are. Even from, even from relaxing your face sometimes can help you think clearly what your next move is going to be and what you're reacting. You're more reacting to your opponent. You're not so much thinking what you're going to do, you're reacting what he's going to do, and then you counter that. Time keeper, ready. Door keeper, you ready? Fighter, you ready? Fighter, you ready? I've always felt like if we're going to train to be warriors, we're going to be soldiers, and it's in our warrior ethos that we talk to ourselves all the time and we mention it to each other, then I feel like fighting needs to be a, a really important aspect of being a soldier.